Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing today? I just wanted to film a quick little video, a little get ready with me first impressions on the Glam Light Cake Palette. This was definitely on my list of palettes that I was not gonna buy. And then my beautiful friend Angelica here on YouTube did a look with it and she was wearing this palette in her Will I Buy It video last week. And then this palette happened to be on sale because of Voldemort. You guys know so many brands are having sales to kind of help keep them going, which totally makes sense. And so I was like, <sighs> and I bought it. <laughs> so um, yeah, I was very bad in March. My low buy, no buy seriously tanked. And I started with very good intentions, but honestly with the whole Voldemort thing, I've definitely <laughs> turn shopping into sort of a coping mechanism. Um, I don't want to give myself too many excuses. You guys know I love makeup, so I'm definitely prone to buying it excessively, but we're back in April. We're back on our low buy, no buy train, and I haven't bought anything except I did buy the Pat McGrath concealer and powder because Pat McGrath is having a really good spring sale. So if you guys have wanted to buy anything from Auntie Pat, um, I don't know when the sale ends, but she is having a sale. So anyway, so much jibber jabber, but this guy is so cool. Like, and Angie and Amy both have this palette. And then I was like, guys, I bought the palette. And Amy's like, oh, you like it. Their metallics are stunning. And honestly, I really like Glam Lights formula. I don't know how many of you guys have been following me for some time, but I have the Glam Light Pizza Palette. Or no, I don't have the Pizza Palette. I have the, the Burger Palette and the Taco Palette. And then I bought their Paint Palette. And last year, I did end up decluttering the Paint Palette because I was like, oh, it's just another rainbow palette, you know, in my collection. And then I ended up kind of like regretting it because the Burger Palette and the Taco Palette have more um, like greens and purples, but not really a lot of blues. So since I really like the Glam Light formula, I thought the Cake Palette could be like my end all be all um, rainbow palette. And that way I just, you know, kind of use it as like my go-to rainbow palette. So we'll see how that pans out. And then this is the Good Molecule Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer that I used on my face. You guys know the drill here. I always do my eyes first. So I've been just like trying so hard to hydrate because I'm filming this on Saturday. So I did like a mask and I did like took a shower, which is why my hair looks like this. And then I've just been like trying to hydrate my face and do some, do some self care today. So anyway, while that sinks in, I'm gonna do my eye makeup. Okay guys, I'm sure you've already seen the inside of this palette, but let me show it to you one more time in case you have not. And this is the front, it's so cute. It does say it's made in PRC. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Ugh. There's like a blue quadrant and purple quadrant and then a bunch of fun neutral shades on this side. Well, not neutrals, but like pinks and purples. <sighs> Icy Mint is calling to me. Oh, this is gonna be hard. Mm, there's so many pretty colors. Okay, I'm gonna grab the Kaleidos brush, this one. They sent this to me. I'm gonna grab Icy Mint. Ooh, I love that blue. That's Icy Mint. Now I'm going to go into the shade Birthday Cake, which is the, like, a true blue over here. I'm going to stick that on the outer corner, I think. God, that's so fun and vibrant. Okay, I kind of want to deepen it up just a tish more. Okay, so I could use the brown, but actually I want to use Adept. I bought this blue shade from... Adept Cosmetics launch. They relaunch or restocked some of their single shadows or was it their whole collection? I don't even remember but I bought the blue because I remember Hannah Louise Poston swatching it and I was like that navy blue is needed in my collection. So I'm just gonna pop that in 
the very outer corner and then pull it into the rest of my eye just to help blend. Oh yes, yes queen. Ooh. Love it! Okay, do you guys see that? It's like subtle, but it definitely deepened things up, so I love it. And you guys, if you want to see a video on these Adept Shadows, let me know. I was going to do one anyway, hopefully, but if you want me to prioritize it, let me know. I could just sit here and blend all day. I'd be a happy freaking camper. So there's a beautiful blue shade called Blue Raspberry, and I think that's what we're going to use on the lid. Okay, let's quickly clean these on my pants, because <laughs> that's, you know, adulting at its finest. AOA Studio E131 brush going into Blue Raspberry. Actually, let's do Lavender, which is a purple shade. I want to throw that in the inner corner real quick. Okay, it's very subtle, so I'm going to go into Blue Raspberry. Oh my gosh, you guys. So last night I was looking for something to watch on Netflix, and I had been seeing that... Um, docuseries called The Trials of Gabriel Fernandez and I didn't really know what the show was about and I started watching it and it was so freaking sad. I don't know if you guys have seen it. I would not recommend watching it if you're like a mom. I just can't imagine like a mom sitting through something like that um, and I'm like a softie like I'll start crying just watching like The Lion King and stuff like that and that show just really like shook me. I don't remember the story when it actually happened, but like it was so tragic. And I, <laughs> I remember like going to bed and like real came to bed and I was like, honey, I just watched a show and it was so sad. And I was like, I just don't like, I just couldn't believe that that had happened to this child. So if you guys have seen it, let me know your thoughts. I, I just couldn't believe it. I just really was so incredibly shook and I'm sure there's so many kids out there that like have had terrible things like that happen to them and it just hurts my heart and I just feel so blessed to have had the parents I've had. It's just, you know, it's just crazy that some people can be so cruel to their own flesh and blood like that. It was, mm, it really just like hurt my heart to watch it but I know a lot of you guys are looking for shows to watch on Netflix. I don't I don't know that I would say I would recommend it. It's it's pretty heartbreaking, but if some of you are interested in that kind of topic, maybe it's worth checking out and you know, I think sometimes with things like that it's always good to spread awareness and uh yeah, maybe you know, hearing his story can help somebody in the future hopefully, but Ooh, that was rough to watch. Okay, guys, I feel like a blue smurf. So I'm going to go ahead and put my foundation on. I think my primer has sunk in. My face feels nice and plumpity and soft. So I'll go ahead and put some foundation on and then come back and finish up the look. Okay, guys, my base is on. And I'm so excited because I want to pop on some more excitement on my lids. I didn't really love blue raspberry on its own, so I grabbed for my Cleonade stained glass collection palette, which has now been amped up with some of my Terra Moon Cosmetic Vibrant Multi-Chrome. So I'm gonna dip into this blue shade. Leave that like that, and then I wanna do the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab a little pencil brush. This one from Morphe, M431. Gonna go into Birthday Cake. Also in my waterline, I use Linda Hallberry Cool Mood, her mood crayon. And then I grab for my iridescent multi-chromes, because you guys know I'm an inner corner highlight slut. So this brush has like these bristles that are too long. I need to fix that later. Okay, I need a bluish I can't remember oh yeah that one's perfect I'm just throwing in some of the Terra Moon chameleon oh. do you guys see that inner corner highlight though 
Okay, I'm officially much happier <laughs> with this look. So it only took like three eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so I did buy a lip gloss from Glamlight because who doesn't want a clear gloss called tequila? I mean, come on. Apparently I had concealer on my lips because now I got my brush dirty anyway, so. Okay, I did add the Ofra Las Olas liquid lip on top of the tequila gloss because I wanted to add some color so okay guys final look I really oh forgot mascara okay hold on one second oh my gosh I keep forgetting to do stuff it's like amateur hour I forgot to spray my face so now I need to wait for my mascara to dry before I spray my face so here is the final look guys I am going nowhere after this so I'm not gonna bother like straightening my hair or anything like that but I had so much fun playing with this palette. I really like this look. I think it's so fun for me to add more things in my collection. Like I got to try the Adept Blue and the Terra Moon Blue on my eyes. And then I threw in that Chameleon shade on the inner corner. So I feel like, you know, if you guys ever feel like I don't reach for other stuff when I do my makeup, not the case. I definitely do pull in things from here and there and I just feel like since we're in this like time like with Walter with Voldemort I think you know I wanted to make this like more chill like you guys are like sitting here with me and we're all doing our makeup so I hope you like that style okay guys so first impressions on my cake palette from Glamlight I'm really happy with this I like the packaging it is very you know over the top glam light but it's not as like hard to store as the hamburger palette and the taco palette this one is still pretty much a regular shape you know it's a little scallop but you can store it standing up or laying flat and it won't take up too too much space in your makeup drawers so that's a plus as far as shades I think this is very tan girl friendly usually I swatch the palette I didn't this time because I wanted it to be more of like a chill we're just getting ready to go nowhere kind of video so let me know your feedback on this style down in the comments you guys know I love talking to you down there and I hope you guys are doing well let me know any other requests you might have for videos in the comments and I will be back on my YouTube channel soon obviously I do post every other day in case you guys are new here I will see you guys in my next video and thank you for watching bye guys <laughs>